Welcome to Feast Magazine's Campfire Cooking, sponsored by Bill Plemons RV World, home of the lifetime warranty. Hey guys, it's Kat, and today I'm going to show you how easy it is to make a shrub. And all a shrub is, is seasonal fruit mixed with simple syrup, some herbs, various spices, and vinegar. It is a sweet, tart, easy way to make batched cocktails when you're out camping or just hanging around in your backyard. And this is gonna be super simple, super quick. I'm gonna start out by just mixing equal parts sugar and water to make that simple syrup. I am using brown sugar in this particular shrub because I am going to be making my cocktail with rum. And so I want that wonderful brown sugar molasses -y flavor in the shrub itself. So in the pot goes one cup of sugar and one cup of water. I'm just gonna bring this up on medium high so my sugar has dissolved. And at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and add in about two cups of raspberries and blackberries. It is perfect season for this gorgeous fruit right now. Along with about 10 sprigs of fresh thyme and about two tablespoons of chopped fresh ginger. At this point, I'm just gonna let everything kind of simmer together until the fruit entirely breaks down. Then I'm gonna strain it and let it cool. It's obviously easier to pop open a beer or have a glass of wine when you're camping, but sometimes you feel like a cocktail. And if you know how to make shrubs, these are the kinds of things that you can make and keep in the fridge and then just throw into your cooler. They not only make great cocktails, they also, if you mix them with some sparkling water, are great for non-alcoholic drinks. So the kiddos, or if you don't feel like drinking alcohol, um, it's a really great way to have something that's relatively healthy and not soda, but still gives you that wonderful kind of like fruity, you know, sweet tart zing during the summertime. The first time I had a shrub, I was pretty sure that this was the, you know, ancestor of Kool-Aid because that's kind of the flavor that you get from the flavor combination of the sugar and the vinegar and the fruit. So my fruit cooked to the point where it just broke down and then I went ahead and strained all the solids out. This is what I'm left with and I've let it cool just a little bit. Now I'm gonna stir in my vinegar and I chose an apple cider vinegar because I really like the flavor of it. You could use a white vinegar, but it's probably gonna be a little bit harsh. So if you don't want apple cider vinegar, something like maybe a white balsamic or a white wine vinegar would be a better choice. So you just stir this in and that is it. You can put this in jars and keep it in your refrigerator for a couple of weeks. And, um, but I am going to go ahead and make myself a cocktail. So when you're making your shrubs, you want it to be one part shrub to two parts spirit. And that means you're gonna have a very strong cocktail. So I highly recommend you serve these on lots of crushed ice so it dilutes just a little bit. So that used essentially the, well, not essentially, it used the entire bottle of rum. It is a party after all. And these drinks will be for lots and lots of folks. So I'm just stirring that up. If you are going camping, you could put this into some sort of a packable container so that when you get there, the cocktail is already batched, already mixed. All you have to do is bust it out and pour drinks for everybody. But I'm gonna have one right now. Lots and lots of ice. Fantastic. Look at that color gorgeous. And I'm going to garnish with a lime wheel because I adore the aroma of lime and it really complements kind of the, the ginger and the thyme that's in this refreshing 
shrub cocktail. So cheers. Here's to drinking well while you're camping out. I'll see you next time. Go on a vacation and still practice social distancing. How? In an RV. RV travel allows you and your family to sleep in your own beds, cook gourmet meals, and control where you go. They are the ultimate self-contained units. See them online at BillPlemonsRV.com.